thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind and all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. love you, my lord. Now, how does my love for my neighbour manifest itself? If I love you, then to me I feel I've been brought here to stone, to Staffordshire. So, I must continue in holy obedience. What in heaven's name is there really of any great import to do here, one way or the other. Well, not in the way of... anything, really. Just a nice, small English town with this historical past of the two boys who were martyred. One of these things, Church of England, of which I often speak, <laughs> in a highly disparaging manner and the hypocrisy of them all and so on and so forth. But the same for all man's organised religions, quite frankly. Anglicans defecting to the Roman Catholics. Well, good luck to them. If they think that oh, the Roman Catholics have all the answers, well, mm, indeed. I'm awaiting your will, my lord. I'm here, I'm ready, my lamps are filled. my spiritual lamps. No, I do not yet fully know your purpose for me. But you will show me. Of this I am quite sure. There is no doubt about it. Wonderful. Good. Fine. So then my life isn't wasted. I've started on this journey. You have started me on this journey. I've set my shoulder to the plough. Fine. So there's no turning back. The one person I can do much with is myself, so my faith must sustain me. Yes, it's not easy just being here, that's for sure. Doing what? Not a lot, not enough. But, keeping myself ready, praying, loving you, each moment of every day. And then to bear fruit in your world, to be ready to bear that fruit, to be able to speak of you, and my love of you. Ah! Wonderful. Time's up. Hmm. I don't know if you've seen me or not. I love you, my lord, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength.